Yo, what's going on everybody? It's me, Hip Crowd again. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to set up aimbot trickshotting without getting back banned. So a while back I made a video on how to set up aimbot trickshotting, but now with that method you get back banned. So I'm going to teach you how to do it now. So first of all, you're going to want to download the game files for Call of Duty Black Ops 2. You don't have to buy the game, you can ask one of your friends to share the game, family, do Steam family sharing with you and you'll, you'll be able to download the game so once you've got it downloaded so once you've got the game files downloaded you're gonna want to go to redact i'll put a link to them in the description but you're also gonna want to download utorrent and i'll put a link to utorrent down in the description you're gonna want to install it then afterwards click the download link for the redacted page and you're gonna copy the long string of things that appears on your screen you're gonna copy it and open internet explorer and paste it in so it will open a link in your utorrent when it asks if you want to use internet explorer to open an application say yes so after you got that utorrent should be able to start downloading the file so once you download the file and then extract it all, it should look like this. Uh, this is before the next step, which is going to be a bit, uh, a bit hard, I guess. So yeah. So you're gonna want to open this file, and you're gonna want to go into Program Files right here, and you're gonna scroll all the way down to Steam. By the way, you need Steam for this if you haven't realized already. So you click on Steam Apps and open it and go to Common and then go to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 and you should see this whole long thing right here so you're just going to want to copy the whole thing and paste it right into the redacted folder This might take a while but I've got it all here already so uh, all you want to do is to scroll all the way down and you're gonna want to open the application that says v43 it does not show up on my screen right now but you're just gonna want to open the application that says t6 mpv43 so open that up so this is how it's gonna look like when you open the screen you're gonna want to click online there's not actually online play right now they haven't implemented it yet but you're going to want to go to custom games, use uh, any map you want really, go to capture the flag and you're going to want to set health and damage down to 30. Basically it's the same thing with regular trick shotting. however this is this sniper rifle and this sniper rifle from the older Call of Duties. Intervention kind of sounds a bit weird. But you can hit some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 shots with toughness and attack 45. So I'm gonna show you one Modern Warfare 2 example shot right here. Oh, oh, finally. I don't even care how shit that shot was. Oh, that took me forever. Uh, it's so hard to hit shots with the intervention, dude. And if you want to, you can go for Black Ops 1 trick shots with this gun. It kind of looks like the sniper rifle from Black Ops 1, but I forgot what name was it. So I'll show you. Oh, no way! Yes! I know it was a shit two piece, but. This. The no skills on this thing just mess up whenever you're mid air jumping. So, whatever, I'll take it. Okay, yeah. However, if you really want the mod menu to try to do aimbot trick shot and do some other fun stuff, you're gonna want Ebola 1.2. I don't know why the mod creator decided to name it this kind of a very bad name but I'll leave the link to that down below or you can copy it here I'll just leave it down below you know so 
Now that you've downloaded this file and you've extracted if I, I assume you've extracted it. So you're just gonna wanna open the maps folder, open multiplayer, open game types, and you're gonna wanna copy this. You're gonna wanna copy into your folder, open data, open scripts, and just for safety I put one in client I put one in the scripts itself and I put one in the MP I don't know which actually is the one that's important but I just put it there so you guys should do it too because it definitely works when the client ideas is in both the scripts and the multiplayer folder so now you're just gonna wanna reopen your game so now that you've launched the game go create make a new game mode uh, it's team deathmatch, time limits are limited, score limit is 5, and points per kill is 5, the minimap is constant, 17 selections allow health, let it remain at 100%, but turn health regeneration off to none, and you're gonna wanna put one, friend, one enemy bot actually on recruit difficulty, on any map you want, just for the sake of this I'm gonna use standoff, and you're gonna start the match so now that you have the mod menu in you should be able to run around before the game even starts to open the menu you use right click and you press E at the same time turn on god mode and you teleport to the player so the god mode uh, or you can teleport him to you too that works too you're gonna wanna zoom in and sh shoot his ass or his feet or whatever you wanna shoot as long as it's at the bottom part of the body and the cool thing about this is there's random camos in the weapon menu so you can just cycle through the camos I like this diamond camo so and that camo kinda works too so now that you have the bot right there you can you're gonna wanna go ahead and turn on trickshot inbound by the way it's space to enter and press F to go backwards so see right there right, that right there is a proper demonstration on how this aimbot trick shotting works be sure to hit his fucking leg not his ass or any upper part of his body because otherwise you just die in one shot and the point of it is to release them to low health so you can one shot them with the aimbot but that is basically gonna be it you can't really play on search and destroy because it just crashes the game after your first round so if you hit a random trick shot aim, aimbot trick shot on your first round your second round they, they will just crash the game for your second round so another thing I forgot to add in is that this does not work for two players or in multiplayer or like you can't play with your friends unfortunately they have not added in that feature yet hopefully they will soon or something like that so but it's for free you know you can't really complain if it's for free and I'm just gonna hit another lame shot right here cuz I forgot to set my camels but anyways thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy be sure to leave a like Try this out for yourself, uh, if you have any problems just let me know in the comments, uh, so uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace out everybody.